2160M is a supersonic, variable sweep wing heavy strategic bomber. In late 2022, the first Tupol F 2160M strategic missile carrying bomber, built anew, completed factory tests. During its test flight, the strategic bomber conducted maneuvers to check the aircraft's stability and control in the air, the working capacity of its airborne systems and engines, and the onboard radio electronic equipment. In 2023 Russia's new prototype 2160M bomber has completed its second test flight and will now undergo trials with the Defense Ministry. Modernized systems and equipment make up 80% of the 2160M. Furthermore, the aircraft is using the new NK-32-02 engine, which itself will undergo flight tests. The airframe of the 2160M did not change, and it's unclear how the newly added technology will interact with the existing structure. The first Tukpol F-2160M strategic missile-carrying bomber built under the resumed production program has been named after the Soviet cosmonaut and the first woman in space, Valentina Tereshkova, the first woman in space. The deep modernization of 2160M is based on the older version of the same aircraft 2160. The 2160 is the world's heaviest supersonic military aircraft with a variable sweep wing. The 2160, NATO reporting name, Blackjack is a Soviet and subsequently a Russian supersonic variable sweep wing strategic missile carrying bomber. Along with the 295MS bombers, these planes are the mainstay of the Russian Aerospace Forces long-range aviation. The 2160 is capable of reaching speeds greater than B-2 Spirits with a maximum speed of 1,382 miles per hour compared to B-2 630 miles per hour. The B-2 can carry up to 40,000 pounds of ordnance in its weapon bays, but estimates put its true limit at around 50,000 pounds. The 2160 has a limit of 45,000 pounds. With nearly 55,000 pounds of thrust produced at full afterburner, the Kuznetsov NK-32 engine, which was initially fitted to the 2160, is frequently regarded as the most potent combat aircraft engine. 2160 can reach speeds of up to 2,200 km per hour, the maximum height is 22 km. Takeoff weight, 275 tons. The 2160 strategic bomber first flew in 1981. In 2015, the Defense Ministry announced the launch of a program to create a new, modified version, dubbed 2160M, with plans to make 50 upgraded bombers. The 2160M is designated to strike enemy targets in remote areas with nuclear and conventional weapons. The 2160M version is equipped with the new Novella NV1.70 fire control radar. The mechanical cockpit is replaced with a digital cockpit. In addition, the 2160M is also integrated with a new electronic communication and warfare system. In addition to modernizing 16 existing 2160 bombers, Russia expects to purchase roughly 50 160 m aircraft eventually. The serial production of the updated bomber is scheduled to start in 2023, with a minimum production rate of 3 aircraft per year. The 2160 m is reportedly armed with X-101 family cruise missiles that have both conventional, high-explosive, cluster, volume trick detonating, and nuclear, X-102, warheads. These missiles can fit in 12 slots on the aircraft. According to some sources, a 2160 missile carrying aircraft, specially modified for this role, was used to launch the first combat tests of these missiles in Syria. 2160M is equipped with a new cruise missile, which is expected to be used by Russia's new stealth long-range bomber. Among them, the KH-101 missile with conventional warhead has undergone many tests on the Syrian battlefield and its range can be up to 5,000 kilometers. Meanwhile, 
The KH-102 is an improved version of the KH-101 that can carry a nuclear warhead. The aircraft is also expected to carry the latest Russian-made hypersonic weapons. 2160M is designed with two internal weapon bays, one in the front and the other in the rear of the fuselage, using rotary launchers. The aircraft can carry a total of 12 KH-101-102 missiles. The combat radius of the 2160M is about 7,000 km, it can easily reach the entire west coast of the United States when taking off from the Russian Far East. The 10 newly produced 2160 MS are estimated to cost 160 billion rubles, or $2.5 billion, about $250 million each. Compared with the radar, glass cockpit, and avionics, the biggest challenge of the 2160M project was the improvement of the Kuznetsov NK-32 turbofan engine. The Kuznetsov NK-32, as installed in the original 2160, is widely reported as the most powerful combat aircraft engine in the world, developing over 55,000 pounds of thrust with afterburner. The NK-32-02 is considered a new engine, but it actually dates back to the mid-1980s, when the Soviet Union cancelled its production on cost grounds. The improvements over the initial design included new blades for the compressor and turbine, plus more efficient cooling. Compared to the original NK-32, it improved thrust by 10%, and the range of the 2160M was increased by 1,000 km. The modernization of the engine made it possible to increase the maximum flight range to 13,750 km without refueling, as well as to increase the maximum speed in afterburner mode immediately by 200 km to 2,400 km per hour. For comparison, the American B-2 Spirit Bomber has a maximum speed of no more than 1,000 km per hour with a maximum range of 11,000 km. These strategic missile carriers provide the offensive firepower of the air components of the country's nuclear triad. 2160M is now available with a coating that gives the aircraft a low radar signature, i.e. stealth. It has a new glass cockpit new engines as well as a new defense system. According to Russian sources, this system is supposed to counter incoming missiles. The new engines, on the other hand, guarantee a greater operating range. Communication, electronics, and control systems are also new. The 2160M has a unique jamming system. It will be activated in a fully automatic mode when the sensors detect the exposure of the aircraft to enemy radars. This system will create a whole swarm of virtual objects around a real aircraft. The principle of operation of this device is unknown. Another distinguishing feature of the 2160M will be a modern airborne weapon control system. The new onboard computer will be able to immediately build an optimal algorithm of actions even at the stage of data entry and will also offer the crew to take control in automatic mode before reaching the designated target. Although the overall parameters of the weapons bays remain the same, they contain two drum launchers for 12 cruise missiles, the missiles themselves will be different. Different open sources suggested that the 2160M arsenal, in addition to the already existing X-101 and its nuclear counterpart X-102, will include several types of medium and long-range missiles that are under development. The KHSD uses the same guidance system as the KH-101, but the new missile is smaller and less visible to radar. The long-range XBD is a development of the X-101, but it will have a one and a half times greater flight range, up to 7,500 kilometers. As part of the program to create a hypersonic aviation missile for long-range aviation, XMTS is being created. It will be able to accelerate to Mach 6 and fly 1,500 kilometers.